Welcome to Emmanuel Nashville's new 60 Days of Prayer podcast. For 60 days, we're praying together as we seek to purchase a long-term home in Nashville. To learn more about this unrepeatable opportunity, visit our 10th Generation info page at 10thgeneration.org. That's T-E-N-T-H generation.org. God loves to hear and answer our prayers, so join us now. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Isaiah 26, 3. You keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. A prayer. Father in heaven, When I'm anxious or angry or afraid, my tendency is either to lean into those feelings and let them overwhelm me as I wallow in them, or to try to engineer a version of peace for myself. Sometimes I do this by trying to change my circumstances or environment. Sometimes I focus on changing my perspective. Most often it means that I frantically pour my energy into fixing whatever I perceive my problem to be, which in the end just makes me more worn out and in a worse state than when I started. So often I forget to bring my needs to you, my feelings to you, my fears to you. I try to play the role of God in my own life and act as if I can grant myself peace. What foolishness. What a waste of time and energy. I'm reminded of those lyrics from the beautiful old hymn. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. It is needless pain because you have told us what to do when we are overwhelmed. You have assured us of peace that is not tied to circumstance, but tied to you in all your love and power and goodness and faithfulness. When we come to you as our God, you offer peace that makes no earthly sense, calm, serenity, true perspective on what matters, true hope for the future. What is even more amazing is that the peace you offer isn't just the absence of upheaval, it is active, powerful peace. It guards us. It protects our hearts and minds. What an amazing promise. So Father, we come to you now with our concerns, our fears, our anxieties. Take them from us. Offload them from our heavy laden minds and hearts and carry them in your infinitely strong hands and give us your unexplainable, active, powerful peace, no matter what we are facing today. Thank you for your invitation and your assurance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You've been listening to 60 Days of Prayer, a resource provided by Emmanuel Nashville. If you've been encouraged by Emmanuel's ministry, consider giving to our 10th generation vision. Your generosity helps us continue making the real Jesus non-ignorable in Nashville and far beyond. To help us purchase a long-term home in the city, head over to 10thgeneration.org and click Give. Once again, that's T-E-N-T-H generation.org. Go in peace.